guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a removal of this um, gel that I did from uh, Glitz Accessories and such and I'm just going to uh, do a simple purple and green set with I try to use some stamping polishes that I have so here is my removal process So as you can see, my nail beds are pretty messed up. So what I'm going to do is put um, some gel extensions over my nail beds while my nail beds heal up and use the gel extension as my natural nail bed for any future um, nail, anything I want to do in the future on my nails. So that they won't disturb my nail beds being healed. I did get some suggestions on Instagram, so I will be trying that out and later on letting you know what the turnout is on that. alcohol to remove any dust and debris and oils off my nail beds and then I'm going to prep them for the gel extensions. ahead and applied a base coat to my natural nail beds and now I'm using the gel extension glue to add the gel extensions onto my nail beds.
right, so now that my, my jelly stitches are on, I am clipping them down to as short as I can possibly get them um, so that they can just replicate a natural nail bed. And then I would file the corners and kind of round them off as well. Because seeing that these are longer nail tips, they do kind of have a deep C curve. So I just try to file them down as low as I can go. So now I'm removing any excess um, gel glue that may have seeped out the edges and also um, buffing the surface of the nail tip so that I can go ahead and apply some gel tips on top of these makeshift nail beds. So I'm using these sticky tabs um, to go ahead and adhere the nail beds, the nail tips onto my nail bed so that I can remove them quickly. And these sticky tabs really are super sticky. So if you want to do like a makeshift set just for an event or what whatnot, I definitely recommend them.
these are the sticky tabs that I do add into my press on sets because like I said some people may want to do a short term set and they want to just pop them off after you know an event or a wedding or whatnot. so um, I include a stick of glue and also these sticky tabs so that gives them the option of switching them up or removing them more quickly than just with regular glue. So now I'm just going in and removing those little tabs on the edge of the nail tip, crisping up the shape, and then go ahead with my nail art. Also we'll buff and buff the surface of the nail and get rid of the shine. Don't forget to hit subscribe and your notification bell. Thank you. But as I was saying, um, I would buff the nail bed sometimes to get the polish head here. But I think this type of polish, because it is one of those reflective glitter polishes, um, they adhere pretty well to the match um, to the, the nail tip. So here is that process. So now I am using some stamping plates that I had from uh, I got from Amazon and also the stamping polish. So I was kind of struggling with this uh, polish and stamping plate. I don't, it's not the stamping plate's fault, I believe. It's more the polish. I don't know if it's too thick or what, but when you pick it up with the stamper, you kind of pick up like the excess that's around if you can see what I'm talking about like the little smudges you would pick that up and that was like kind of my issue with picking up the stamping polish and this is a gel polish not a regular um, stamping polish and a regular stamping polish um, it doesn't make the smears as much but it, it can do it and it's a lot easier to clean up but I went ahead and used it anyway and then I went ahead and cured it under the lamp for 30 seconds and then went over it with the top coat and cured that for a full minute and then went in with my gym, uh, gym placement I realized I do not have any purple gems, like just straight purple gems. So that is definitely something I'll be looking forward to getting in my next order whenever that may be.
So after I have put on finished my gem placement, cure it under the light for a full minute, and then I go in with my cuticle oil. Um, I don't know why I can't find my other cuticle oil. So this is vitamin E oil that I use around my cuticles. And that is the final look. Tell me what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.